So the seminal, seminal vesicles produce about 60% of the fluid portion. And then the prostate glands contributes about 30%. The testes contribute 5%, and the bulbourethral gland contribute 5 um, I'm pretty sure seminal vesicles are just creating um, um, secretions and fluid. Um, the bulbourethral glands. Um, they're also, in, yeah, so they make it sticky, but so they also basically, um, um, it, they're secreting things that go through the penis before ejaculation, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of like, because I mean, there's usually, you know, traces of urine or, you know, whatever in there, and it kind of buffers that out and um, gets it um, ready for this, this sperm to travel through. Um, and it also produces, um, let's see, a small, it provides a small amount of lubrication for intercourse. And yeah, it says helps reduce vaginal acidity. So yeah, in general, semen is basic and vaginal secretions are acidic. And so it's kind of like, it balances it out so that the semen can survive in the acidic environment. Yeah. Right. Um, Yeah. So yeah, it's mainly the semi seminal vesicles, prostate gland, bul bulbal urethral gland. And so yeah, I guess the testes also contribute some fluid as well. Okay. But oh, here it is. Um, the prostate gland though is also not only does it. Um, Not, not only does it secrete fluids, but it's also involved with like blocking off, basically, because like the prostate gland has, so we've got, this is your urethra, right, going out and your prostate gland. So um, you've got kind of two channels. Um, this is a really bad marker. And so, like let's say you're, this is bad drawing, but let's say this is like your bladder, right? And so your bladder, a urine from your bladder comes through kind of like this way to go out through the urethra. But then you've got um, semen and other secretions coming up this way. And so you don't want semen to get up into the bladder. You don't want urine to get down in here at all. And so usually, this usually happens like during erection and things like that, but it kind of blocks this off to allow only one. It basically makes it so only one thing can travel through at once, okay. right? So during intercourse and reproduction, semen is allowed. It has the channel, so this blocks that off. That's why, because um, prostate cancer is really common in men, right? And you typically, typically see um, hypertrophy or growth of the prostate gland, which affects urination. I don't know if you've ever heard that, or yeah. I mean, you see in the media like making fun of old people that can't pee and stuff like that, and that's kind of the idea.